Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to recital number 17, Love and Marriage. The Margate flautist himself, Lewis Mitchell! Dearly beloved, please be seated. Monsieur Midi and I are going to play you something. Oh, I didn't put my glasses on though. And make sure Mr. Midi works. <sighs>
That, my friends, was Bach's air, it's common parlance is called, air on a G-string. And that's something that I'm sure a lot of married couple have seen in their time. But it's actually the, the air from the suite number three in G major, the orchestral suite of Bach. And that is also used to walk a number of brides down the aisle in the church. And given the speed of that and, you know, how slow Monsieur Midi is, it would have taken a long time to get that bride down that aisle. Either that or it was a bloody big church. I'm not quite sure. I'll leave you to make your own minds up to that. But, good evening. We are here to do love and marriage. We've done love and hate, so it's time to do love and marriage. And it is, as we've already had, in anniversary for Bob and Angela. Matt. Give me Bob and Angela the clap, as it were. Oops. Yes, my outlaws and Stuart's mum and dad. So here we are again on this Sunday evening, and we are now, my friends, Correct. going to welcome people for this evening. Once you put the gin and tonic down. You want hellos, obviously. Yes, it's hellos. Yes, sorry. Okay, so on this phone we have Sarah Hicks. Hi, Sarah Hicks. We have Alan Rebello. Hello, hello. We have Fred Osborne. Fred Osborne from Westgate on Sea. That's right. So that was on this phone. Mm. A few others as well. James Spatch was on. Hello, James. James. Uh, Sarah Hurst was on. Sarah. Linda Rowe was mm. on. Yeah, Linda Rowe. Who else? And on, on this phone. On this phone. On this we phone. have um, Chris from Gravesend. Hello, Gravesend. Uh, hopefully um, Hastings is watching too. He is. We yeah. have the man that works with his hands. Tim Smith. Tim Smith. Handyman. We have a lady that runs a pub with her husband. Zeb. With a dog. Oh. Champion. Oh, it's aunt and uncle. It is. Good evening, aunt and uncle. We have Nigel Harvey. Hello, Nigel Harvey. We have um, oh. Sheila. Sheila Cohen. Yes. I'm just guessing. She is on. Like Sheila, not Australian Sheila. We have oh, somebody you know. who's on the toilet normally. Oh, you count it. The king was in his dunny, counting out his dunny rolls. Rob, no, Rob. Oh, yes. He had his bottom on Facebook earlier. If he anybody did. Wants to he was, he was cooking a barbecue and he just had an apron on. And he turned around and you could see his butt. Yes. We were, Very classy. Yes. We're who, classy here in Margate. Who that else have we Westgate. got? We have. And on this phone. Oh, on this phone, yeah. we have a lady that likes to wear gold jewellery, and so does her husband, and wears frocks and things. Your ladyship? Yes. Your sirship? That's right. We have um, neighbours, three doors, two doors down. Three. Three doors down. Three doors down. Yes. Howdy. What? Can we, Cobbers? Yes. Uh, we have somebody from Nottingham, and not John the sheriff. Martin. What, what, Robin Hood? Robin, Robin Hood. Hood yeah. Riding through the glen. We oh. have our electrician. Julia Irvenden. Yes. Um, who else we have? We have Jerry. Hello, Jerry, Jerry. Jerry and Brian. Um, and Brian. We have, here, we have the world's best Australian accent expert in the house who lives in Tivoli. Oh, yeah, mate. Her accent's so bloody good. His. Oh, it's Carl. It's Carl. No, oh, look. But Carl's turns out to be... No, no, Mary's turns out to be South African. It does, time. yeah. But, oh, no, Jamaican. Accent. She was like Jamaican. Jamaican. But, good evening. <laughs> and we got the, actually, I think we've got the full house. I think we've got... Uh, what, Carl mom, and mom, Mary? Mum, dad and daughter tonight. Oh, it's the whole family here. It is. And aunts and uncles. And outlaws. Yes. And, and we have somebody from down the road who has very good prices on antiques. Mr. Kenny. Yes, we spoke to his him. His prices can't be beaten. That's anyway. right. Oh, God, it's so dark. Uh, we have a lady who sings a lot in Charlie's. <gasps> Nicola Booth. Nick oh, she's, oh, she's 40 now as well. She is. She, she was is 40 indeed. last week. Yes. Um, as old as me, love. We also have... Is she as old as my flute, actually? We also have Jenny Carr. But Jenny wasn't first cab off the rank. No, you were, dear, on this phone. Because <laughs> you did the, did the watch party. Oh, God. The only person we're missing is Karen Startup tonight, but I'm sure she could do catch-up. 
Start anyway. up and catch up. Yes, right. Catch, catch up. up. No, catch up. Anyway, what's your next pick? Is it how many pieces you're doing tonight? I'm doing three. So you've done one. So one what's the new. Next, the next one. One old, because um, it's it's because it's about love and marriage and stuff like this. This is a reprise of the piece by Elgar called Salut d'Amour or Liebesgrüße. The lovely piece that he wrote for his um, his wife to be as a nice engagement present. So they weren't even married when he wrote this piece for her, but it was just one of those nice little gifts for her and, and hopefully she liked it. Maybe she liked the key of E major and she probably liked the violin, which was which is what it was written for. Um, and and we've got crickets. We have. Oh my God. They're asking you to start already. Oh, you sure it's not the camel? No, 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 ca camels? no camels tonight. No camels, okay. So it's Elgar, isn't it? It is, Elgar. Let's see what happens. Drum roll, please. Just like last time, I finished before you. Did you notice in the first piece he gave me four? Sorry. Clap. He didn't give me the clap. No. He gave me four beats because he doesn't trust me to come in. <laughs> it's a bit rich coming from. What the hell was that? That was a slurp. Mm. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. You're holding the gong and that makes oh. me worry. No, I'm putting it down. We have a few more hellos, I think. And we have Tracy Gregory. Oh, hello. Oh, yes. Oh, look, we're, we're about to buy some beach attire from exactly. the about time. Darren Curl. Darren Curl, good evening, all the way from Borough Green. 
Yes, that's right. Yes. Near my parents. Indeed, right near London. Um, and Janella said she doesn't think, doesn't know what the aunt and uncle thing is about. Oh, it's Stuart's aunt and uncle. It is, honest. But why? What's, I don't know, there's a problem there. No. I don't get it either. Never mind. I'm but sure like here it's the later. whole family. Exactly. It's aunts, uncles, mum and dad, the sister, the brother in law, the nieces and nephews, the kids, the dogs, everyone probably watching tonight. Because of the special anniversary, number 51, which is not quite as old as me. <laughs> I think. Um, He's giving me the quack. He is. Anyway. <laughs> oh, do you want to know whose birthday it is today? Oh, yes. We haven't had any birthdays today, have we? Uh, um, no, here we go. He's going to find some birthdays for us, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh, Agneta. Agneta Fertzkoff. From Abba was oh. born on this day. I've been cheated by you since I'm done. Oh, is it a mamma mia? Hasta mañana, baby. Yes. We also have Gregory Peck was born on this day. As a, is, he's a bird as well, isn't he? There's birds Peck. No, no. Um, didn't he get chased off, chased after by a plane? He didn't. Oh yes, and he was also a lawyer. That's right. Betty Davis. She's got Betty Davis eyes. Well, she had Betty Davis eyes when she was alive. That's right. Who else? Um, uh, Farrell. What? Farrell. Farrell. He was born on this what? day. Because he's happy. What? Farrell Williams? Yeah. Yes. I'm so happy. Oh, I hate that song. It's one of those, it's one of those ear weak things. It's more like ear worms, not ear weeks. The weeks are things on your head. And who died on this day? Charlton Heston died on this day. He that's, did indeed. That's all I remember. Charlton Heston was a member of the National Rifle Association in, in America. He was. He was quite happy about people having guns. Yes, you are right. Indeed. Exactly. But he was also in Ben-Hur and just about every film that was over 14 and a half hours that has been ever made. All those Cecil B. DeMille extravaganzas. What is it? Extravaganzai for the plural. Something mm. like that. Yeah, extravaganzas. Am I waffling? You are. What's the next The track? next and final thing. It's three things. Three. Can't do four because that would be very uneven. Not that it's... Well, for me it would be uneven because I'm not used to four. Um, this is the um, the aria Lippenschweigen from the operetta Die Lustige Witwe, or The Merry Widow. She was so happy because she killed off all her other husbands and she was raking in the cash and her bank account got fabulously huge. And everyone fell in love with her, including this chap called Danilo. And she's going, oh, get out of here. But it takes nearly right to the end of this operetta for her and him to fall in love, as they always do in operetta and in opera. It's just, you know, it's just this love thing that's a bit... <coughs> oh. And it's in waltz time, obviously, because it's by Franz Lehar. I know that's a bit of a, an, an overstatement. He didn't write everything in 3-4, honest. Oh. But Mr. Biddy, Monsieur Midi, gives a beautiful performance, I'm sure. Uh, as long as I can find his button, push his buttons and see what happens. Uh, where is he? And what's this thing called? Yes, that thing. Here we go. <laughs>
of that. Uh, I think he's having a fit at the piano. Should we sack this man? You can sack the man. Well, well, he is a monsieur, and he's small though. He is. Midi. Well, he's middle size, isn't he? He is middle size. That's exactly. very good. We got anyone else to say hello to before we go? Oh, keep going. You talk while I do something. Uh, 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 Mary had a little uh, lamb. Tony Childs came on. Ch oh, Sorry, no. Tony Child came on. Hey, Tony. He's, t he's come and gone. He's got no a ration, no no ration to Chris. Uh, Deborah, Hin Deborah Higgins came on. All the way from her castle on the moat. That's right. She's got a, she's got a moat. She does. Um, but that's it, I think. I can't see anymore. I think it's gin o'clock. Yes, gin o'clock. We've got to raise a glass to someone. We do indeed. Come on. Yeah. Cheers. No, come here. You. In front of the camera. Yes, cheers. No, you idiot boy. Cheers. Mum and Dad. Cheers. Well, happy anniversary. Right. What we got? We so off. that's Sunday. And we're done. And we'll see you tomorrow, I'm we sure. Will, well, you won't see us. You'll, you'll see us, but we won't see you. No, exactly. But it's Monday. It'll be the start of a new week, and God knows what's going to happen. We'll only find out tomorrow. Yes. Have That's a nice rest of the evening, folks. Mwah! See you tomorrow, everybody.